Hill. But Mr. Speaker, if he's serious, then the Prime Minister needs to do something. And with less than a week until the G20 sum summit, this Prime Minister continues to abandon Canadians by failing to ask for a meeting with the Chinese President. Exactly. Canadians suffer in Chinese prisons. The farmers are facing high financial harm, while tens of thousands protest in the streets of Hong Kong and in the cities across Canada over dystopian Chinese extradition law. Will the Prime Minister finally decide to meet with the Chinese President? Why is he showing such weakness in the face of China? An honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, from the very beginning of this government, we've remained focused on standing up for and supporting Canadians in trouble overseas. This was a change uh, from the Conservative approach, which wasn't particularly enthusiastic of sticking up, sticking up for Canadians around the world. We've done exactly that. That's why we've had positive results uh, throughout this, uh, this mandate on very difficult situations, and we've done that by moving forward in ways designed not to draw positive headlines, but to advance the issues at case. Sometimes it's done privately, sometimes it's done publicly, but it's all done privately. The Honourable Member for Bonavista B.